Thrower, wow! Dude, oh, the hammer man. spring joke is the <laughs> hammer spring mod is no joke. Right? 3000 PSI, and that thing sparked. The sear didn't hold. The sear didn't hold from the power kit. What is up guys, Mac of Speed coming at ya. Great episode today following up last week's failure with the AEA 50 caliber Challenger in the bullpup configuration. This is the side lever Challenger, so the cocking effort is so much easier comparatively to the small, stubby, short bolt handle version AEA also offers. Last week it looked like I had one too many washer behind the hammer spring to go ahead and consistently and effectively cock this rifle and, and leave it in a cock condition until I was ready to fire. Took it back to the home shop, took it apart, figured out what the problem was, and we were able to remediate that issue with no special tools and no special processes. All we had to do was remove that one extra washer that was preventing us from holding the sear. As you can see currently, this rifle holds itself cocked currently with absolutely no issues. I think the best thing that we can do at this point is validate exactly where this open hollow sight is actually hitting on that target and then see if we can use the remainder of the magazine to take out five targets. Do we have five out there? One, two, three, four, five, yeah. That means effectively we're gonna to need to get one shot for educational value and go 100% batting a thousand for the rest of the targets that we intend to engage. Without wasting any time guys, let's go ahead and get right into this. Now online today we have Lucky 7 310 grain slugs in 495 diameter. The 495 diameter just works the best in this rifle and they mean that shit. If you put 498, 500, 501, it just won't cycle. I don't think that's gonna cycle. So smooth, so slick, ah, I love it. Just like last week, gentlemen, we're gonna be at 10 yards. We're gonna go ahead and try and intuitively index that target and then we're gonna take a shot. Fire. Just to the right, let's check that out. Big half inch bore hole. I feel comfortable with that. I think that we're gonna be able to make some hits. All right, guys, this is the part where performance under pressure really comes into play for a YouTuber. I know where I'm hitting. I have my target set up, but I got one shot at this. Let's get into it. And go. Fire. Fire. Miss. Fire. Hit. Fire. Hit. Is that it? Is that it? I think that's it, because I missed. That means that I need a new magazine, good lord. Decocking for safety. What's going on here? Grabbing the next magazine, boys. Even though this is a shooting drill, I still want to maintain that air of safety that you would typically find at a range. If you guys notice all the problems that I'm currently having with loading this magazine, I feel like this platform might benefit from an extra lever locking this thing back in place so I could load the magazine easier. Fire! And we connect with that fifth and final bottle, boys. Honestly, there's not too terribly much more fun on the range that you can have, except for exploding targets. Tannerite is hugely illegal in California, but these Umarex big blast caps came through in spades for us today. Before we get out of here today, let's see if we can't get rid of the rest of this magazine and really prove the reliability of this 50 caliber bullpup. Fire. starting to hear a lot of hammer spring and a lot less report from the muzzle. I wonder where we are on pressure. One more round, we're gonna send it. Right side target, fire. One inch right of center. Honestly, I'm gonna go ahead and consider this set up 100% for short engagements like these 10 yard targets and leave well enough alone. I think it's gonna be a great place to go ahead and end today's video, but if you like today's video, give it a thumbs
thumbs up. You wanna see more content like this? Make sure you subscribe for more with that notifications button so that you can stay current on the channel as well as when new videos come out. If you really like this video, make sure you share it so that somebody else can see it and I'll catch you boys in the next one.